get started in child's pose. So working on slowly and gently opening up the hips. So when you come to your mat, bring the big toes to touch and your knees as wide as you can comfortably get them to open before bringing your tailbone down as close to your sit bone and then arms extending out in front, really reaching forward before you let your forehead come as close all the way down to the mat. And then here, as we always do before each practice, let your eyes close when you're ready. And then start to bring the awareness to your breath. Just becoming aware of the quality today, how it's traveling into the body, how it is being released. And then maybe just setting an intention to make the breath as smooth as you can get it. Welcoming each breath, intending to relax. then maybe bringing your awareness to the rest of your body. Still following every breath, but just notice to see if there's any tightness. And then using your exhales to intend that tightness to relax. Inviting any softness. Allowing the exhales to offer any form of release from any stress from the day, from the week. Letting go of any tightness. Feeling the expansion of your body as it collects all the air. Letting it go, feeling just a little bit calmer. And just inviting this gentle energy throughout your body. Working on extending our exhales now. Breathing in for two, one, exhaling for four, three, two, one. Another inhale for two, one. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. Keeping your own pace. A few more rounds. And when you're ready, in your next inhale, 
coming onto all fours. And just take a moment here to stack your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. And then on your next inhale, lifting the right arm up towards the ceiling, looking up. On your exhale, bring that arm through underneath the left arm, threading the needle, right cheek to the mat, and the right shoulder. Staying here, tenting the hand, the fingertips on the left hand, and pushing on, lifting the left shoulder blade back, inviting a gentle twist. And again, option to stay here, or just lift that left arm up, floating it up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, maybe you let it fall behind your back, resting your fingertips on top of the right thigh in that little nice nook between the hip crease. Still lifting our left shoulder and pushing it towards the back, encouraging a deeper twist, maybe looking up. Taking one full cycle of breath here. Using the exhale to untwist. Coming back gently into tabletop. Planting both hands down. Use the next inhale to lift the left arm up, reach towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, thread it through underneath the right arm, left cheek, left shoulder this time down. Completing your breath cycle here. Option to tend the fingers and begin to slowly push that right shoulder back. Staying here or lighting a deeper twist, lifting the right arm up towards the ceiling and crossing it over. Maybe your hand stays on your hip or your low back on the left side, or maybe you can hook it in the crease. Just remember to push that right shoulder back, look up towards the ceiling. And maybe one side feels tighter than the other. One more breath cycle. And as you exhale, lift the right arm up if it's crossed and begin to untwist back to the mat on all fours. This time I want you to bring your knees to touch. Your toe, your feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So we're coming into hero pose. And if you know you need to sit on something to elevate the hips, you can do so now. If not, just focus on grounding your sit bones down, getting nice and tall through the spine. And we're going to practice uh, pranayama breath, which is a fire breath, brings inner heat to the body, hence the name. And what I want you to focus on during this breath is pushing the air out. So it kind of sounds like a rapid convulsing breath. And you take a deep inhale to start. And then when you exhale, you just push it out as quick as you can, focusing on the pushing out of the breath. You're gonna do that for about 30 seconds and you notice how this will actually just activate a lot of heat in your core before we get moving. So let's get ready to start. Take a deep inhale to fill up. And then as you exhale, begin to Five more seconds, two, one, and good stuff. <laughs> Hopefully that felt good, you didn't get dizzy, but you should feel nice and warmed up throughout the core so we can get the body moving now as you slowly come to stand and meet at the top of our mats in Tadasana. So mountain pose, feet will be hip distance apart, aligning the spaces between the second and third toe with the heel so that they're nice and parallel. 
picking up your toes to engage the feet, noticing the arches, and then trying to maintain those arches as you release the toes back down to the mat. Sending the kneecaps to the hips to fire your quads. Your tailbone is pointing down towards your heels. And you're firing your pelvic floor. So you're squeezing, lifting in, pretending you have to pee. If you place your hand on your belly, you should actually feel your stomach contracting as you do this action of firing the pelvic floor. And then drawing your sternum away from your hips. The lower ribs down. Nice strong back. Head of the eye, the elbows, sorry, the shoulders up and back down your spine. On your next inhale, lift the arms up overhead, straight back. So still drawing the lower ribs in. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, tilting the hip points towards your chest as you inhale, coming in for a baby back bend. And then as you exhale, hinging from the hips, flow all the way down to the floor, maybe putting a slight bend in the knees. To warm up our hamstrings on the next inhale flat back hands to your shins or your thighs and as you exhale plant the hands step back into plank from plank remembering to spread the fingers wide rooting the knuckles and the fingertips down kind of doming the fingers so that you're grabbing like a doorknob engaging the lower arms by drawing the thumbs away from each other and then hugging the outer upper arms in firing the triceps Kicking the heels back as if you're kicking a back wall, firing up the entire legs and squeezing the thighs towards each other. I'm talking a lot on purpose, I know. And then as you exhale, we get to come onto your tippy toes slowly, bending the elbows, coming down slow all the way down to your belly. And I want you to count to see how long you can take to come all the way down as flat as a board. And once you're down, pointing the toes so that the kneecaps are lifted, Hugging the elbows in, inhale to peel your head, neck, and shoulder, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Tucking your toes, push the floor away, send the hips up and back into a down dog. And our first down dog, inviting any movement, maybe bending the knees, stretching our hammies. But you're not moving anything else, so your arms, your hands are still pressing onto the mat. Same engagement as we did in plank. Maybe you wiggle your hips side to side, loosen them up. And then when you're ready, come and still in our down dog. On your next inhale, lifting the right leg up for three-legged dog. Send the left heel down. Exhale, bend the knee, open up. Keep drawing the left shoulder blade up. You're squaring yourself to the mat. Holding us here for a few breaths. Keep lifting the right knee up and over. And then when you're ready on your next exhale, coming back into a three-legged dog. Take one inhale here, and as you exhale, bring the right knee behind the right wrist and the right foot behind the left wrist for pigeon. Here you can check them. If your shin is parallel, flex the foot. If not, point the toes and then begin to scoot the left leg as far back as you can get it, pointing the feet, pressing them equally into the mat, squaring yourself off. So send the right hip back, the left hip forward. Take an inhale to get long through the spine and then bowing down over the legs, resting your head, forearms, or all the way down. Take a few breaths in pigeon. You have the option to go deeper. Scoot, tuck the back toes under and scoot the knee back a little bit more. Maybe a milliliter. Milliliter. <laughs> maybe not. Just to see how your body's doing today. Or maybe if you notice a huge gap above your right tush, you can place something here. Maybe even roll up the mat. And surrendering to the many wonderful benefits of this pose. You're ready on your next inhale. The help of your hands, bring your torso back up. Plant the hands, tuck the back toe under, and then send the hips up and back into down dog. 
from down dog. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, bend the knees, look towards the hands. You can walk or hop to the top of the mat, meeting back and forward fold. Maybe noticing if you can straighten the legs a little bit more by pressing the top of the thighs towards the back. Rooting all three corners of your feet, so your big toe mount, the baby, and the heels into the mat. Inhale to rise, lifting the arms up overhead, reaching, draw the lower ribs in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Lift the hip points coming into maybe deeper back bend as you inhale. And on your exhale, fold. Inhale to come up halfway and flat back. The long line with your tailbone all the way to the crown of the head. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into plank. Standing up in plank, remembering what we did the first time. Imagine you're grabbing the doorknobs, hugging the outer upper arms in. Fire your pelvic floor, smula bandha, pretend you have to pee. And then as you exhale, on the count of 10, going down as slow as you can, flat as a board, all the way down to your belly. And I didn't count, so <laughs> I just plop down. <laughs> Point the toes, squeeze the elbows, inhale to rise, maybe deeper cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes under, hips up and back, back to down dog. As you inhale, lifting the left leg up this time, draw the right heel down, take a breath. On your exhale, open up, bend the knee, stack the left hip over the right, pick up the right shoulder. Hanging out here for one more breath. Keep lifting that left knee up and over. And as you exhale, coming back, three-legged dog. Drawing the right heel down, pushing the floor away. Inhale. Exhale, left knee behind the left wrist. Left foot behind the right wrist. If you need to help it out with your hand, you can do so. Remember to flex the foot. If the shin is parallel, protect that knee. Scoot the right leg as far back. Pointing the toes, imagining the midline of that left, that right leg, and pressing all that down equally. Inhale to rise, exhale to bow. Sending the right hip forward this time, the left hip back. And then maybe noticing one side feels tighter, maybe looser. Maybe they both feel just a little tight. Probably meaning you need this pose more. And when you're ready, on your next inhale, bringing the hands back, tucking the back toes under, push the floor away, and back into down dog. From here, bend the knees. Look towards the hands, walk or hop, top of the mat. Check that the feet are parallel. Bow over the legs, letting the head go. Shake it yes, shake it no. Push the top of the thighs towards the back. Straighten out the legs as much as you can. And then inhale to come up, flat back. Exhale, bowing over our legs one more time. On your next inhale, I want you to think about rounding your spine as you're coming up. So tucking your chin, you're gonna slowly lift. So you're stacking vertebrae on top of vertebrae. It kinda looks like a reverse slouch action. Slowly coming all the way up until your head and your arms are the last thing to rise. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. From here, check again, feet are hip distance. As you inhale, lift both arms overhead. And as you exhale, draw the right hand down by your side. And we need to send the left hip towards the left and the left arm towards the right. Bowing over, twisting. Next inhale, right arm rises back to extended mountain. Check that the legs are engaged. And as you exhale, left arm goes down, the right arm goes over to the left. 
Inhale, hands back up to center. And then as you exhale, you the cactus knee, arms squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Maybe bend the knees as you come into a slight back bend. Inhale, back to center. I'm gonna do that one more time. So take a breath in. And then as you exhale, the right hand goes down by your side. The left arm follows over, bending towards the right. Inhale to come back up. Both arms reach. Legs remain active. Exhale, left arm down, bowing over towards the left side. Inhale to come up. And then as you exhale, tuck the arm, squeeze the shoulder blades, bend the knees if you need to. And inhale to rise. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. And so we're gonna try a funky little fun flow. So ground the feet, especially that left big toe mount. Take an inhale to send your weight over to the left leg and then hover the right foot over the mat. Inhale to lift the arms up, reach overhead. And on your exhale, keeping the leg exactly where it is, I want you to reach the arms forward, coming into a flat back and then scooting the arms behind you, airplane mode almost, you're lifting your palms towards the ceiling. Legs still floating, inhale to slowly rise, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, coming back into a flat back. Arms behind. Doing this, inhale to rise one more time, I'm gonna shift back. And inhale to come up. <laughs> one more time, exhale slowly, hands back and over, squeeze the shoulder blades when you're there. And then staying here, take an inhale, and as you exhale, kick that right leg back so that you're in warrior three. With an airplane arm variation, keep lifting the arms like you have weights, squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other. Holding your breath here, a couple counts. Keep firing that pelvic floor so your core is engaged. And then maybe testing to see if you can flex the feet, kicking a wall, or maybe try pointing the toes and what feels good for you. And when you're ready, on your next inhale, slowly coming back to stand. Release the right foot down. Give the left leg a nice shake if you need to. I'm going to try this little funky flow one more time to check that the feet are grounded. Inhale to lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, going to the right, lifting the right arm down. Sorry, send me down, twist towards the right. First bow, <laughs> side stretch. Inhale to rise, reach both arms, engage the legs. Exhale, left arm down, right arm reaches over. And you go a little bit further. Inhale to come up. Now if you exhale, cactus the arm, bend the knees if you need to, back bend. It's really hard to talk when I'm bent backwards. <laughs> Inhale to come up. And one more time. On your exhale, release the right arm. Reach towards the right. Really go as far as you can go. Keep sending the left shoulder blade back. And coming back. Inhale. Exhale, the left arm goes down. Reach over towards the left with the right arm. And back to center. Inhale, fill up, expand those lungs, and as you exhale, empty out back. Inhale to rise. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Switching over to the right side, so making sure you ground that big toe mount like super glue it. Shift your weight to the right side, engage that leg right away. So think of plugging the right, the femur bone back into the socket, fire the belly. And then hover the left foot over the mat. Take an inhale to reach the arms up overhead. You're nice and strong, extended mountain here. And as you exhale, arms go forward. You're coming into a flat back and then reach the arms back, palms facing up. It's actually called good morning. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead, legs still hovering nice and strong. Exhale back, should be good afternoon. We'll call it that right now. Inhale, reach, arms go up. One more time. Exhale, fold, hug that belly in, squeeze the shoulders. Staying here for breath. 
And on your next exhale, we need to kick that left leg back. Lifting from the inner left thigh. Kick the back wall or maybe try see what it feels like pointing the toes. Falling out, coming back in, nothing wrong with that. Your flat back, long line with the torso all the way to the crown of the head. Reaches energetically forward. And when you're ready, slowly with control, releasing that left leg by your side. Inhale. And then exhale, drop the left leg down. Give that right foot a nice shake. Should be nice and warmed up. Hopefully. <laughs> now we got more. Back to the top of the mat for Tadasana. Inhale to rise. Remember to draw the lower ribs in. Tailbone points down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Coming into your back bend. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead or cactus your choice. Exhale, fold over the legs, bowing down. And then when you're bowing down, I want you to think of drawing your belly towards the mat. So put a big bend in the knees. Let your belly come as close to your thighs as you can get it. And then your back is nice and straight. So you notice a line from your tailbone to your head. It's nice and long. And we need to slowly press the thighs back. Think of sending the shin bones forward. Bowing over. Inhale to come into a flat back. Exhale, plant the hand, step back or shoot back into Chaturanga right away. Inhale to come up into your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog. Hanging on in down dog, so making sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrist. They're soft and away from your ears, so you're not slouching, dumping the weight in. Your thighs are lifted and fired up, so you're on the tops of your feet, pressing down equal force. And then taking one more breath here. Exhale, tucking the toes under, sending the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, inhale to reach the right leg up and open up as you exhale. Hanging out here. Remember to pick up the left shoulder. Left heel is grounding down. And as you exhale, maybe transfer the weight towards the left hand. You pick up the right and then you step the right foot down behind you. Coming in for a wild thing. So you're pushing the hips up. You're pressing onto that left foot either on the outside or you can step it in. So you're actually on the palm or the sole of the foot, sorry. And to come out of here in wild thing, as you exhale, you send your hips towards your heels and then you plant the hand over and turn around, leaning back and downward facing dog. Taking an inhale to lift the left leg up. Exhale to open up. And then left knee over and back. Take a breath here. And as you exhale, letting the left foot drop behind you gently. Once you're here, lift the hips, push, rounding the upper and middle back. A wild thing. My floor is slippery. <laughs> Inhale here, exhale. Touch towards the ground, not touching, and then turning yourself around. Back into downward facing dog, bringing your big toes to touch, your knees wide on the mark. Take a child's pose. Checking in with the breath. Bringing the awareness again, noticing how it's traveling through. Is it fast? Or maybe not. Let's work on slowing it down. When you're ready, on your next inhale, with the help of your hands, coming back. And then actually stack your hands on your hips up and back into downward facing dog. And down dog, check the feet or hip distance, arm engagement. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, lifting the right foot up, breath in. Exhale, bring knee to nose, round the spine, looking between your hands. Or at your knee. 
Inhale to kick back up into three-legged dog. Draw the left heel down. Exhale, left knee, left. Right knee, left elbow, sorry. So for a twist. Inhale to come back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow this time. See if you can go as high up on the tricep as you can. Breath here. Exhale to kick back up. Inhale here. Exhale, look between your hands, bring the foot, knee to nose, and then step it through. Coming into a crescent lunge. Dropping the back heel down, pointing the toes. Check that the right knee is stacked over the right ankle. Running all three corners of the foot. Inhale to rise. Arms reach overhead. Exhale to lunge deeper. Hanging out here for a few breaths. So work on spring, squeezing the legs towards each other. Pretend you're drawing the feet back to center, energetically forcing them through, squaring the hips forward, so right hip back, left hip points. Breathing here. As you exhale, maybe lunging a little bit deeper and see if you can slowly begin. Encourage a little back bend, maybe looking past your thumbs. Palms facing each other, out of the elbows as well. One more breath here. Uh, exhale, look towards the hands. Plant the left hand down. Tuck the back toes under so your left foot is tucked under. And as you inhale, lift the right arm up, twisting. Nice, easy twist. Inhale here. Option to pick up that back leg so you're firing it up and nice lunge. One more breath here. Exhale, frame the foot. Get nice and long through the spine. And as you inhale, lift the arms up over. Crescent lunge now. One breath here. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Drop the back leg parallel to the mat. Align heel to arch. Lunge deep, looking softly over the right fingers. Remember to hug the belly. Square yourself off so you're stacked. Rooting all three corners of that back foot, pushing the front of the left thigh back. Engage the back leg. Inhale, reverse the right palm, and reverse your warrior. Right hand goes down on your thigh or your left shin. Inhale, coming back to warrior two. Let's try this again. Reverse inhale, back. Stay here for a breath. On your next exhale, coming back into warrior two. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step back into plank. In plank, let's flow. Coming forward. Chaturanga as you exhale. We're all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift the left leg. Draw the right heel through the mat. Open up. Oh, sorry, stay in here, three-legged. Inhale here, and as you exhale, bring knee to nose around the spine. Push the floor away. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow twist. Inhale, back to three-legged. Exhale, knee to left, elbow. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. And as you exhale, bring your knee to nose. Look between your hands, step the foot. Uh, drop the back foot down, point the toes. Check that you're stacked. Left knee, left ankle. Inhale to rise. Keep lunging deeper into that knee. So with your hands, if you need to press down, remember to square your hips forward. Squeeze their inner thighs towards each other. Gaze lean softly forward and up. And slowly begin to transfer that gaze higher. Maybe bringing your arms slightly back. Biting a back bend if that feels good. 
Inhaling here, and as you exhale, plant the right hand down. Tuck the back toes under. Twist, coming into crescent lunge. You guys are all strong, you can do this. No option. Remember to hug that tricep on the right arm. One more breath here. Reaching, and as you exhale, frame the left foot. Get long through the spine. And setting out to come all the way up on your next breath. Inhale into crescent lunge. Hanging out here. And on your next exhale, drop the back foot, warrior two. Check that you're aligned, heel to arch. Rooting that foot, especially outside of that foot, not letting it lift. Firing that back leg, kneecap towards the hip. And you want to think of sending the left step on towards the right heel. Shark can go deeper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and your next inhale, reverse left palm, go back. And exhale back to where you're to. Inhale, reverse, keep the lunge. Exhale back, warrior two. Breath here, and as you exhale, cartwheel the hands, taking the flow, step back to plank, and go. Meeting in down dog. One breath here, exhale, bend the knees, lift the wrists and hands, walk or hop, top of the mat. And fold. Grabbing opposite elbows, ragdoll, rocking side to side. Let the head go any way you need to. I'm going to draw the lower ribs in, encouraging a deeper fold. When you're ready, coming still in our down dog, letting the hands rest on the feet, the shins, wherever they need to. Back to the nasana. Inhale to come up halfway to your flat back. Exhale, bowing down again. Root the feet, inhale to rise. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. I'm gonna try that funky flow again where we lift the one foot and cactus the arms. So we are ready to set up. Check again that your feet so important, our base, our foundation is nice and set up. Inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the right hand down, reach the left hand towards the left side. Inhale to come back up, right arm reaches up, left arm goes down, reaches over as you exhale. One more time, coming back to center. Exhale, going towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, all the way, as much as you can. Back to center as you inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lift the arms up, reach again. Exhale, bend the knees if you need to, cactus the arms, back bend. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands by your side. Shift the weight to your left side. So ground that big toe mount. Hover the right foot. Inhale, reach the arms up. Remember to draw the ribs in, fire the belly. Exhale, get flat with your back. Arms reach forward and back. Squeeze the shoulders. Inhale, lifting arms up. The leg stays hovering. Exhale, back down. Good morning. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bowing down one more time. Taking a breath here. Exhale, kick that right foot, warrior three. Lifting the arms up, imagining weights. One breath here. And as you exhale, bring the left hand towards the mat. Maybe with your fingertips slowly reaching. And then see if you can open up into half moon. So stacking the right hand up on top of the left. Right arm reaches over. 
kicking a back wall with our right hand, your left foot anchored down, especially that big toe. One breath here. And as you exhale, coming back into warrior three. So square the hips slowly down. Can you pick up that left arm? Woo. Challenge, float it back up to where you were. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right foot to hover over the mat. One more breath in, exhale, release. Give it a shake. Grab a sip of water if you need to. I have to remove sweat from my eyes. <laughs> Sorry. Yuck. Setting up for the right side. Grounding big toe mount. I like to dig it in. Reminds me of where my focus point is. In, shifting the weight. Hover, left foot. Inhale to rise when you're ready. Feeling stable. Keeping the foot where it is. Exhale, bow down. Good morning. Imagining a flat back. I can put a tray. Inhale, coming back. Foot stays slowly as you need to. Exhale, bow. Breath in to rise. One more time with our good morning. Breath here, squeeze the elbows in. Press the top of the right thigh towards the back. Setting up the right foot and then as you exhale, kick that leg back into warrior three. Nice long line here. Breath here. When you're ready, begin to bring the right hand down to the mat, gracing with your fingertips, lifting the left arm slowly up. Maybe shifting your gaze slowly to the left, stacking the left hip over the right. Kick a wall with the left leg, hanging out here. One more breath here, and as you exhale slowly, coming back into your warrior three. Can you pick up the right hand back to airplane arms? One breath here, and slowly coming back. Hover the leg, inhale to stay. Exhale, release. Give the right foot a nice shake. Checking in with the breath. Maybe checking in with your mind. Breathing in to any turbulence. Take a deep inhale to lift the arms up. Reach, look up. Exhale, bow your hands to center. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fold. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. One breath in plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga halfway or all the way. Back bend up twice. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. From here, walking the hands towards your feet. Meeting at the back of our mat in Uttanasana. Begin to heel toe your feet so that they're wide as mat distance apart. Heels inwards, your toes are pointing outwards. Take a deep inhale, come up halfway. And then as you exhale, lead with your tailbone. Bend the knees, coming to yogi squat. Malasana. Triceps on the inner part of your legs. You're pushing the knees open with your hands, with your elbows rather. And you're hugging the belly in. Ten one points down. Glass of water in the top of your head so your spine is nice and long. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Using malasana. Maybe catch our breath. 
And maybe rocking side to side if that feels good, shifting the weight. So we wanna make sure that all three corners of your feet are grounding down. If not, you need to roll the back of your mat so that your heels have somewhere to rest on. Keep pushing with your elbows, your knees, inviting a little bit more openness, sitting nice and tall. And when you're ready, bowing down over our legs, keeping the feet as they are. Just noticing how this feels when you bow down. Playing with your sternum first towards the mat. And be noticing the stretch on the inner part of your thighs rather than the back. Take a breath in and then as you exhale back into your yogi squat. Placing the left hand in front of your left foot or just grounding it down where you can on the inside of your left leg. Push the left knee open with your tricep and then inhale, lift the right arm up and over using your strength to lift that right knee open. Now collapsing inward. So remember to lift the shoulder. If you only go as far with your arms extended out in front, that is as far as you're gonna go. I'm gonna open up the chest, really reach with your heart towards the ceiling. One more breath here. When you're ready, exhale, release, bring your hands back in prayer, squeeze the knees into your arms and resist with your arms. One breath in, plant the hand on the inside of the right leg, reach with the left arm up and over. Sending the tailbone down towards the mat. Hugging that belly in will help. Activate your core. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, coming back, yogi squat. One breath here. And then when you're ready, plant the hands out in front. We're gonna come into crow pose. So hugging your knees into your triceps hand, resisting that. Begin to look forward, so maybe to the top of your mat. And then as you exhale, lift the pelvic floor, so hug it in around the low back, the mid back, when your sternum reaches forward. Maybe work on picking up one foot and just holding and then switching, picking up the other foot and then coming back. So playing with pro. as you need to. It's coming into the balls of our feet, making sure that the hands are planted down as we do in Chaturanga, hug everything in. Looking forward, it's important to help maintain the center of gravity up. You don't fall forward. You push the hips up, rounding the low, the mid back, and your chest is still reaching forward, not down. Here, if you catch some flight, maybe coming back, see how long you can hold. Drawing the heels towards your glutes if you're flying. When you're ready, back down. Bring your big toes to touch your knees, letting them come towards the mat, taking a nice deserved child's pose. Taking one more breath here. And when you're ready, coming on to our left fingertips, lift the right arm up, twist, and then exhale. Threading the needle, bringing the right cheek down to the mat, pressing the right shoulder down and the back of the right hand. Maybe tensing the fingers in front of the right forearm, wherever you like, just to twist. Picking up that left shoulder. One more breath here. And exhale, coming back to child's pose. Take a deep inhale, expand the lungs, fill them up. 
Exhale, open the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Tenting the right fingertips as your next. Inhale, lift the left arm up and thread it through. Grounding down through the left side before you push onto the right. Hands to twist towards the right. One more breath here. Exhale, undo. Back to child's pose. Breath in, fill up. Open the mouth. Walking your hands back, coming back into a seated posture. Let's come to lie on our backs, starting a cool down. So coming to lie all the way down. Bring your knees towards your chest, hug yourself into a nice tight little ball. Feeling a nice stretch on your glutes. It's all that good morning work. Maybe they're talking to you. Rocking side to side if your low back needs it. And when you're ready, coming still. Bring your arms on the inside of the legs, grabbing the outside of the feet for happy baby. Drawing that tailbone down. Still in your baby or moving around. I have to be careful with my candle. <laughs> it's happened where I heated up my leg. An unwanted temperature. <laughs> Keep pressing with your hands onto the soles of the feet and with your feet, pretend you're kicking a hole on the ceiling. Looks passive, but really, this is an active stretch. When you're ready, we need to keep the right leg in happy baby and bring the left sole of the foot down into the mat so your knee is bent. And then with your left hand, pushing onto the sole of the right foot, see if you can bring that right knee as close as you can, maybe all the way down. And then just notice exploring with the left foot, the left knee. If you bring the left knee inward slightly, you can maybe notice how the right hip opens up, allowing you to bring that right leg forward, your waist shifts between your pelvis. So just play around with that sweet spot. So working on opening up the right hip, Pushing the right foot down. And maybe staying here, maybe extending the left leg out and forward in and noticing how that feels. Maybe you can't bring the right knee down as much as you can. If you like to bring it all the way down, keeping the foot down, still good. And then wherever you are coming back into happy baby, and then just notice the difference in between the legs. Maybe the right knee goes a little bit down so you're in a wonky unbalanced happy baby pose so let's work on bringing the right foot back to the mat starting with the knee bent right hand pushes down bringing the left knees close to the ground drawing both shoulder blades down equally into the mat and again playing around tilting inwards tilting outwards pushing down Maybe straighten. Oh, that hurts. And then coming back to your happy baby. Feeling balanced. Hopefully. And then when you're ready, bring soul feet, soles of the feet to the mat. Incoming dog. On your next inhale, bring the right knee towards your chest and then tuck the right ankle on top of the left thigh. So coming into figure four or thread the needle or whatever this is called, <laughs> figure four. Inhale to bring the left knee up. And before you thread through, I want you to drop the left knee towards the left, towards the ground, but keep the right foot hovering so it is not touching down. And then work on actively pressing the right knee away from you just with the strength of your hip flexor on the right. 
So this is kind of like a reclined double pigeon fire log legs. I don't know. And then bring the left knee down as much as you can, trying to bring the right hip down and open up the knee, pushing it as far away as you can. Interference. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hanging out here, using every exhale to draw that knee further, the right knee away from you. Right foot hovers. She's just staring at me. <laughs> Hello. One more breath. And then when you're ready, exhale, release back to center, both feet onto the mat. Lift the left foot, place it on top of the right thigh. And then as you inhale, bring the right knee in. Exhale, let the right knee fall forward. Remember to hover that left foot so you're not coming all the way down. And then work on pressing the knee, left knee away from you, opening up. Trying to bring the shins parallel. So like kind of like reverse fire log looks like this, sorry. Fire log looks like this, reclined fire log. You're doing the same action of trying to draw the knee away from you, but we're not using gravity to help ground it down. It's all coming from the hip flexor. <laughs> Hi, Lilo. She's on my foot. <laughs> Hanging out here. Couple more breaths. And when you're ready, releasing the feet back down towards the mat. Going for Shavasana of your choice, Sutta Vada Konasana, or letting the legs extend out in front. Arms by your side, palms up. Allowing your eyes to shut. Your breath to soften, your muscles to relax. Take a deep inhale to fill up, expand, take up space, holding it at the top for five, four, three, two, opening the mouth to release, let it all out. And then maybe doing a quick scan. Checking all the way, crown of the head all the way down to your toes and your tips of your fingers for any tension, any tightness. And remember to use your breath and intend to relax and allow softness, stillness to take over in your body and your mind. Noticing if your mind begins to wonder, and gently bringing it back. When you're ready, inviting gentle movement back. 
Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Shifting your head slowly from one side to the other. And with your next inhale, lift the arms up, reach back. And as you exhale, bring your knees towards your chest. Rolling over onto one side, making a pillow with your forearm. Using your next breath in to push yourself away. Coming to meet into any comfortably seated pose. Your eyes still softly shut. Your next breath in, reach, arms overhead. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart and in prayer. Tucking your chin to your chest, bowing in. Taking a moment to thank yourself for coming out today for practicing with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the flow and you have a great rest of your Friday. Together we bow and say namaste. <laughs> I'm thanking my assistant. <laughs> Come here, you dum-dum. <laughs>